Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel, heathens! If there's any fresh meat on the channel today, welcome, welcome! Today is going to be my latest installment of my sporadic Space Queens series. When was the last time I uploaded one of these videos? Was it about a year ago now? When I said sporadic, I meant sporadic. So if you are new to my channel or you would like a little refresher about the Space Queens, what this series is, is essentially my taking beloved deceased musical icons and whipping up a cute little cartoonified version of them on a starscape. That's it. Putting some stars in the background and putting their cartoon in said starfield. Hence the title, Space Queens. It all started several years ago with my interpretation of Captain EO, and it all came about just because I happened to be listening to a playlist of corny 80s music, and the Captain EO song came on, and I thought, oh my god, I'm going to draw him today. I'm just in the mood to draw him. I love the outfit. Let's do it. So I drew Michael Jackson as Captain EO. Then that was followed by the Space Queen herself, Klaus Nomi. And then I did Freddie Mercury after that, followed by the sassiest of them all, Prince. And now here we are today with Ms. Mrs. technically, Queen Selena. That's right, our beloved Selena Quintanilla. We have finally introduced a female into the Space Queen. What are we going to call this? The Space Queen mm, we'll, just series. We'll keep it simple and call it a series. So I want to thank my patrons over on the Patreon because I had two ideas for the next installment. I knew I wanted to do a female and I just, I wanted to make the decision a Patreon decision, so I asked them to vote, and it was very close. I have to say it was very, very close, and my patrons know who the other artist is that I will be illustrating after this one, so thank you guys for voting, but the one who just barely, barely, barely edged out the other lovely lady is, of course, Miss Selena. I would be remiss not to include our Queen Selena in this series. So thank you guys once again for voting, and for those of you who are not on my Patreon, who had no idea that this was coming, if you are a Selena fan and or a Space Queens series fan, well, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so first thing is first. This Space Queen series, although it is essentially the same as it has always been, the same theme, just a starscape in the background with a cartoonified little caricature of the person as the focal point, I have evolved a little bit. I've switched up my supplies. I mean, I started doing this years ago. And when I first started, the first Space Queen, which is Captain EO, I created that one with Prang watercolors. Just those cheapy Prang children's watercolors that you can find at any craft store, any Target, I believe, even has them. I'm sure any big box store carries praying watercolors they're incredibly inexpensive the quality is not obviously not wonderful but for budget if you're on a budget and you need watercolors just get the praying watercolors i've said it a million times before don't stress if you can't afford anything better the praying ones got me through many many years okay and to be honest with you i still have them and I'm going to be passing them on to somebody very soon because I, I no longer reach for them. I, the day has come where I no longer reach for my praying watercolors. I know, who'da thunk, who'da thunk, they are a workhorse. I've had that set of watercolors for five years now and it's still practically full. I don't know what kind of voodoo praying sprinkles over their watercolors, but I'm telling you, they last forever and I used them to death. But when I started the Space Queen series, I was using Prang watercolors and a 01 and a 005 micron 
So the two tiniest microns and Prang watercolors. And now I've upgraded my watercolors in recent years to nothing extraordinarily high end. I have graduated to the core watercolors, which is what I used on this one. Core watercolors and uh, let's see, what else did I use? Core watercolors and India ink. And I'm still using for the highlights a white Posca marker, which is an acrylic paint marker. So I will say that again. Core watercolors, Posca paint pen, and India ink. And for this one, the India ink that I used was just a generic Blick. I think it's the Blick Black Cat India ink. I also like the Speedball. The Speedball is actually my favorite, but the Black Cat one works just fine. And in terms of pens, um, I'm finding myself very conflicted lately because Somewhere over the course of the previous couple of years, uh, my tendonitis has been flaring up. The more illustration work that I work on, my coloring books, my comic book, my tendonitis, man, sometimes I just overwork myself to the point where I have flare-ups. And I haven't had a flare-up in a little while. I just staved one off, actually. I felt it coming. I felt it coming, and then I stopped drawing for a week completely. I did purely digital work, and I didn't have to deal with the tendonitis. but. Part of the problem with my tendonitis is that I was using the 005 micron and the 01, the teeniest, tiniest ones, and those require that one exerts a bit more pressure to get the lines the way that you want them, especially on the paper that I use. So I decided to start exploring the larger sizes, the 02, the 05, and I also graduated to trying out brush-tipped pens, both felt tip brush pens and crow quill dip pens. So although the artwork is essentially the same in style because my style has not changed, my supplies have definitely become a completely new monster. From 01 and 005 microns to 02s, 05s, and brush pens. So things are a little bit different. My line work lately has been a little bit thicker and I'm still not sure how I feel about that. I like that I'm able to achieve a graduated um, line weight. I'm able to vary the line weight quickly and easily without straining my wrist too much, which is fantastic. But there's something in me that misses that look of the teeny tiny little micro line work and micro sketchy hatching that I was able to achieve with the small micron pen. So I'm in a sort of exploratory transitionary period where I'm trying to figure out a way to blend the two styles together. I want to be able to use my brush pens in conjunction with my teeny tiny micro nibbed microns in a way that feels very me. Because one thing that I find myself doing when I'm relying on the thicker microns and the brush tip pens is that my line work ends up looking cleaner than I want it to. There's nothing wrong with clean line work. My coloring books, the line work in my coloring book, my coloring books has also evolved. In the beginning it was varied, it was very erratic, sketchy, and it was quite polarizing. The style of my first few books People either love it, they hate it, they understand it, or they don't. It's purposely supposed to look sketchy and just uncomfortable. It's supposed to challenge the way that you think about coloring. But in recent years, once again, I've discovered the glory of the brush pen. And in my coloring books, I have started to mix my sketchy style, the thinner nibs, with the brush pens, and I'm liking where that's going. So now it's time for me to start transitioning that style into my illustration work. Miss Selena here is a good example of me attempting to do that. So the outlines on this little thing are varied and a little thicker than I'm used to, and I like it. Um, the piece is tiny though, it's 5x7, not very large, so I don't have a lot of room to experiment on something this size, but it was a fun little transition, something different. I think my future Space Queens are going to be more in this style. 
which is to say a little bit more brush pen usage and then we'll see about incorporating the thinner line art that I did in the very first couple of Space Queens. Does that make sense? I hope so. I just realized that I've rambled on for several minutes now without explaining who Selena is, but does she really need an introduction? I don't think so. I think everybody knows who she is. If you are Hispanic, Latin, Latinx, Mexican, what what other labels are people calling themselves these days? I don't know. I can't keep up. I am one of them. I am, I mean, I don't know. What, what, what do you want to call me? Am I a Mexican, Latina, Latinx? Call me whatever you like okay but as one of those people selena of course is one of my beloved icons we love her to death not only was she just she well clearly i didn't know her personally but she strikes me as just one of those people that is so damn lovable you can't you can't dislike her her personality in her interviews she's just she was such a bright light and a Karen came around and snuffed her out. It boggles my brain, 23 years old. She just seemed like such a cool person. 23 years old to be taken out by a Karen is just infuriating, infuriating. All of these icons, all of my space queens, all end up with tragic endings. And that, frankly, it just pisses me off (laughs) because I love music and these people, why do the Karens, why do the Yolandas of the world continue to live when all of the great ones are snuffed out? I I hate it, I hate it, and this is just my little way of saying, (sighs) I'm sad that the good ones always leave, basically. And I hope that you guys enjoy this series. The art prints are always sellouts, which is wonderful. You guys always appreciate them when I do restocks in the store. So there will be, of course, by the time this video is posted, Ms. Queen Selena. I keep calling her Ms., but technically she was a married woman. Mrs. Selena. Her art print is now in the shop. So by the time this video is up on the YouTube, you can hop over to my Etsy shop and grab a print. Links will be down below. And as always, the Space Queen art prints are my delicious, super shiny, bright, and beautiful candy gloss prints. And that means that they are a high gloss. Usually my prints are a velvet matte finish, but my Space Queen series and my other quote-unquote premium prints are all printed on a thicker cardstock that has a luscious super glossy finish it's just it was a play on the whole idea of glossy magazines and just shine and glitz and glamour and all that good stuff because we know i am a tacky broad i love my shine i love my glitter and well wouldn't you know it miss selena also a tacky broad who loved fashion glitter shine giant accessories just love her. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this piece. Let me know what you think down below. And if you are looking forward to the next one, the next one is going to be, I'm not going to tell you, you're going to have to wait and see unless my Patreon patrons spoil it and mention it down below because they know who it is. So thank you once again to my patrons for voting for this. Everything you need to know will be down below. Go do something fun today and I will see you in the next video. Also to my patrons, I'm going to start putting your names at the end of all of my illustration videos. Previously I had been reserving the Patreon thank you screens for coloring videos, but I'm finding that some of my patrons became patrons not for my coloring book work, but for my illustration work. So this is a way for me to thank everyone both my colorists and my illustration lovers so now my patreon screens will be at the end of all of my art related videos illustration videos coloring videos all of that yumminess so thank you thank you okay this time i'm out actually out this time okay bye